Hey y'all, let's check out Garden of Whimsy. Hey y'all, so I am so excited to look around this land. How cute is that little squirrel? If you're new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life and it is definitely a vibe on this side. On this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So this is another place that I have had as a landmark for a while. But I always, um, when it comes to the larger lands, I do tend to hold off on those until I feel like I have a nice amount of time to really, really view the land. I don't want to feel rushed when I come across lands like these. I really want to be able to explore these places fully with you guys. So when I panned out, this land is quite large. Now they do have residences here. I'm not sure about how the rentals work, but when you land, they do give you like a little message about, you know, being respectful of people's um, houses and things like that, which, you know, we, we always do that. We always do that. So it's lots to look at here um, for what I saw. Now, when I initially came here, I did come like in the afternoon and now it is it's 11 27 p.m for me so it is nighttime in second life as well so this is the lighting for their nighttime now they do have different lighting throughout the day but this is their shared environment lighting for their nighttime look at this look at this there is no second life preset what well, there there has to be but there is no environment that second life gives you that looks like this so this is a shared well that i have to say i don't know of one so this is the shared environment that they have um created for this land and it is beautiful beautiful i was a little leery about doing this land um in the shared environment because it is it did look quite dark but once i panned out and i noticed that all of the places well a lot of them at least looked as though they had pretty nice lighting i was like okay yeah we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see this we're gonna see how it works out so like this it's dark on the in this space but the pizzeria is like lit up with the lights and stuff like that so i love it has like a really nice sexy sultry vibe to it this is a cool place for like date nights a really nice place to just kind of walk around and take pictures it gives me like a it has like a like a santorini type vibe but not really santorini type vibe i think i just can't think of a different place so that's what's coming to mind it definitely has like italy vibes to it and i really do like that everything from what i panned out it did seem to be on brand and you know we, we love a good cohesive land this land did appear to be like surrounded by a beach so we'll check out um the beach more in depth um, as we kind of tour along it's quite a bit around here and i want to make sure that i'm taking my time to see every little thing because i have been putting off seeing this land for so long because every time I start recording, it tends to be at night, you know? We talked about this in another video. I just, I don't know, I don't know. I think it's so many, it's so much that needs to be done during the day. Once it is nighttime, it's like, okay, everything that needs to be done is done. Look how pretty these pumpkins are. Uh, so it's like, okay, now you can go ahead and you can record. I can spend time with y'all and I don't have to feel rushed. But um, also what happens is sometimes I'll just wait too long. TikTok is a hell of a drug. I'll tell you, I'll go on TikTok looking at one thing and then three hours later, I'm still on TikTok and I did not do what I said I was going to do. You know, it be on me. It do be on me. So you see how it's dark. Um, the sky seems to be changing a little bit. So I don't know if they're like multiple Sims, but that's okay. So yeah, you see how the lighting is changing, which I'm not mad at at all. So there might be like multiple Sims connected. It didn't seem like we walked long enough to be on a different Sim, but hey. I don't know maybe we did so when you're in the shared environment the lighting will change as you walk along and I like that because they're making sure that they're setting the moods for each space that you go into and I really do like that so they have like this looks like a really like romantic 
double date couple kind of chill spot this is super cute it's kind of like dipped off to the side gets you some little refreshments nothing too fancy a little pepperoni with some cheese a nice red wine just sit down and vibe out i know that's right so this land is quite twisty turny and i do like that um i love a good get lost type of land because that lets me know well most of the time when you go to lands that are really like twisty turny every time you get lost you end up in like another beautiful spot and it's like i don't really mind being turned around no more now i do love when they put match people on the land because even when you're on the lands and there aren't a lot of other avatars on the land the match people kind of give that feel of it being um people on the land um for the meantime in between time and i do like that it does make the space feel more lived in and more active and that is a really really good um aspect to add to your lands in my opinion all right just walk through the door okay so this is a it's like a chocolate place or like a place that you can get chocolates i'm gonna call it a bakery but it's not really a bakery look how pretty these are all these little chocolate hearts but yeah i love a land with some mesh people on them show do look at these strawberries they always set the mesh people up in the perfect spots to make the space just really really come to life and i'm like yeah y'all y'all thought this out and i and i show sure appreciate y'all for that so they got some candy in the bag it's pretty in here it's small and it's pretty i am starting to really really enjoy the smaller spaces um the smaller lands i, I wasn't given a chance and it was like once i gave the smaller land a chance and i was just like oh wow it was a lot here and it was like okay well maybe that was a fluke so then i went to another smaller land and it was the same thing i love this little art studio i just really grew to really really like them because for me i used to do like really really short um videos that's just what i used to do because i wasn't sure how people would be or whether or not they would be receptive to the content and that is partly um largely in part because there 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 are some second life there are a lot of people who create second life content however when i started i wasn't coming across look at these vegetables i wasn't coming across a lot of channels that were making like newer content so it was like i was coming across channels and them like their last video was a year ago or two years ago or eight months ago and i so i wasn't seeing people who were having more recent content when i first um thought to start doing like second life content so i was like i don't want to just start making no long ass videos and people aren't even really used to seeing them because the people um the channels that i was coming across the majority of the channels that i was coming across they were they hadn't posted in a very long while so i'm like okay i'm just gonna start off short and sweet and so that's what i was doing and i talked about this in another video but just in case you're new here um when i saw that people were being receptive to the shorter videos it did make me want to do um longer videos but i was trying to i was dipping a little baby toe i said i'm gonna dip a little baby toe we're gonna do some little showmas but they were reading like um picture books picture books because i was crazily i i didn't want a uh, I didn't want people to know that it was like i didn't want people to know that i was in second life i never consciously said that out loud but when i look back on the footage i'm like this is what it was it was almost like i felt like people okay this was cute in a little stand it's real cute out the stand all right there go shifty eyes from that um the one of the last videos that i've done that i did um i felt like people weren't going to i didn't want people to see like the interface of second life and so once i learned that i can hide the interface that's what i started doing because i felt like if you see the interface um in my videos it kind of will take you out of the space and that's what i didn't want 
I wanted you to consistently feel like you were in the actual spaces with me. And I felt like if messages are coming through and things like that. And when I tell you, I was doing do not disturb and busy and all of that. And I was still dealing with messages and stuff, not realizing that if you hide your interface, none of that comes through. Like you don't hear a ding or nothing. None of that comes through. And so once I realized that I could do that, then it did kind of like change things up for me. But if you go back and like you really like look at the videos, I started off really slow and the more receptive um, y'all were, I started making the videos longer because I felt more comfortable making the videos longer because I'm like, OK, y'all OK with seeing this. So throughout this time, oh, look at the little doggy. So throughout this time, I really have been creating my content off of how y'all respond to it. And it has really worked like a charm. I feel so much more fulfilled knowing that I'm bringing content to y'all that y'all are enjoying and that y'all are being really, really receptive to. So what's so funny is like, now, when I go to a land and the video is not that long, not because of me, it just simply the land wasn't, you know, it wasn't a whole, whole bunch to look at. I'm always just kind of like, OK, are they going to be receptive to this? When I tell y'all, I unnecessarily stress myself out over the dumbest shit ever. I do not want to be a war reward, but when I tell you, it's almost like my body is craves it and it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. My life is filled with, in my opinion, some of the least, the least amount of worry. And I don't know if my body and my mind in an, in another life, perhaps I went through a whole lot of shit. Perhaps I went through a whole lot of shit because there are a lot of times that I, my, it, it, take, it takes my mom. She really has to be like, girl, um, you are literally finding shit to worry about. Your life is great. What the hell? Like, what the hell? And I'm the only conclusion that I could come to is in a past life, my life was crazy. It was crazy and that I lived in a constant state of panic because the amount of unnecessary made up anxiety that that will come over me just from the smallest things. It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I went to the grocery store yesterday and Aldi's. I, I fucks with Aldi's the long way. And so I went to put the cart back and there was a man walking up and I was like, oh, do you want the cart? And he was like, uh, yeah, he was like, you know, I'll, I'll take it so that you don't have to walk it all the way back. And so he went to give me the quarter so that I could like basically like give my quarter back. And I was like, oh, no, thank you. And he was like, are you sure? And I was like, yep. But I was like, immediately, I was like, I said that loud as hell. Next, next 30 minutes, 30 minutes, I was tripping over how loud I felt like I said, yep. The man never reacted. He didn't look at me like, damn, you was loud. It was none of that. I made it up. I made it up. And when I tell you, it'd be little shit like that, but then it'd be big shit. I'll get anxiety over what ifs. What ifs that never fucking happen. I'm getting upset just even talking about it because it's so ridiculous. If there's anybody who is watching this that goes through stuff like that please take a moment to just breathe and realize that what you are feeling is coming from an unrealistic space especially when it is nothing that you have ever experienced before and it is nothing to really trip about i just i feel like I go through stuff. I put myself through unnecessary stress and strain. And I don't know if it's, I feel like a part of me is like in disbelief that this is my life. There's always more things that I feel like I can do to like completely be fulfilled within my life. I feel like it's a never ending process, but I'm happy, you know, I'm happy. And I do think that sometimes 
it's difficult for me to really grasp that this is the life that I get to live and I get to be this happy all the time and how fortunate I am to be able to live the life that I live, to have the parents and the family that I have. It's like we, we ain't perfect, but we worth it. And so I do believe that I get anxiety over that. Perhaps over it, not always being this blissful, not always being this grand. I don't know, but worrying about shit that you don't have control over is the worst thing that you can do. It's the worst thing that you can do because you're worrying yourself about things that no matter how bad you don't want it to end or you do want it to end, you are not in control of that. You do not control that narrative. And so I'm constantly reassuring myself and checking myself when I find myself in those type of spaces. And so I found myself coming to Second Life even more and really leaning on Second Life to be that getaway to kind of de-stress me from my damn self, from my damn self. It's so ridiculous it's and it sounds even more foolish i love those uh plates those um are those plates or bowls they have like a lip on them they look like um plates i love that i can come here and just kind of get away from me get out of my head and just be in a space where i don't have to think about nothing <laughs> 